I'm getting to the news late today. By now, you guys have probably all seen this. This is crazy. I mean, I don't really know what else to say about this. This is this is crazy. Uh, for sure, this increases the odds of a war in the Middle East. I mean, Hezbollah's got to respond to this. And I think the negotiations that Biden has been trying to push forward in the last couple of weeks, I think that obviously looks dead. So uh, crazy stuff going on. But let's just take a look just to show a point here. How are the markets affected by this? And the answer is like, not at all. It's sort of the, it's just more of the usual here. Markets were up in general uh, today. Um, I had a decent day. I shorted up near the top, just above the white line there, uh, looking for a pullback, and we came under it. So I'm, I'm still, I still have a short bias, but it's very, very close right now. Um, anything can happen. But in any case, I just wanted to point out that you know, if you're it, like I've been talking about the last couple of videos, if you're trading on news, you know, this would be an opportunity for the market to go down. It, it really didn't. I think it probably did for a few hours, and then it's back up. Uh, the futures tonight are up almost two tenths of a percent. So no reaction whatsoever, not even in, in oil, right? Uh, oil is actually down a little bit after hours. So eh, the market is just kind of doing its usual thing, like, like as if this were nothing. Now the, the timing of this, I'm actually very curious. Is this, is this a prelude sort of to a, a ground invasion of Southern Lebanon? I mean, uh, now that they've kind of, destroyed the communication system that Hezbollah uses and injured some 2,800 uh, fighters it might be the time for a, a, a ground assault, or perhaps they're waiting for Hezbollah to counter and then they can go either way. It's going to kind of uh, expand here at this point. I don't see any way around it. Anyway, taking a look at the four hour, which is the one I follow the, the closest, we did have a breach of the line and then it pulled back. So still maintaining that short bias, uh, I think a second breach, if it holds, I would be out of this thing. But uh, doing okay, kind of kind of waiting on spikes and then shorting. I've got, we've got a two tenth spike tonight, so maybe a little more and I will short that again for tomorrow. That's kind of how I'm rolling right now. A short bias waiting for it to get as close as possible to the line or toward toward value i consider that value and then back down but there's you can see there's a lot of technicals happening here you got the 200 here you got the 20 right there so a lot of things happening so expect volatility of course the big news tomorrow is the fed are they going to lower interest rates i think everybody pretty much a hundred percent of analysts say, yes, they will. It's just a question of how much. Will it be 25 basis points or will it be 50 basis points? I don't know the answer to that. I do think if it's 25, the market will react negatively and drop like a rock. If it's 50, I'm not even sure that that won't stop the market from dropping tomorrow because this expectation has been built in for a very long time. I guess a lot of it depends on what they say. I think for sure this is what's going to be on their mind here. These are the non-farm payrolls, and you can see over the last five or so months, it's decidedly lower than it has been for quite a while. So the job market is definitely cooling. If, uh, if they start talking about recession or that kind of thing, then you'll see more interest rate cuts. If they say, well, we're waiting and waiting to see what happens because it doesn't look too bad now, I do think the market will tank. So. I'll be I'll be watching the words of the Fed carefully. Of course, I generally don't trade too much on these news events. I like to trade more the technicals than anything else. But uh, this can sure move things in a hurry. So if you're going to trade, uh, be very careful. This is likely to move the markets very much. So what about precious metals uh, here? We're looking at silver on the four hour chart. Um, technically, this is kind of a down move here. But again, everything goes out the window tomorrow, depending on what the Fed says. So I don't know if you're holding silver like I am, just continue to hold it. And if it drops, I would be buying more. Anything under 30 is a great deal for me. Uh, 
but with with stocks is a different story because I'm not holding. I'm a short term technical trader. So that's my plan for tomorrow. Um, I'll be back tomorrow to see how it all went and hopefully we'll continue to have some gains. We had a little bit of a gain today. So just easing up, still averaging over $200 a day, which is good. I'm trying to build that back up to past 300, but I'm taking my time. Remember after a loss, the first thing you do is trade small, ease back into it. I'm still easing back into it, starting to scale back up again, but so far so good. And I'm feeling pretty good about things. Thanks everyone.